So hello guys and welcome back. So up till now we have completed the development setup for the Flutter applications. We have successfully installed the Flutter on Windows and Mac OS operating system and we have installed all the necessary tools and softwares for developing your awesome mobile applications in Flutter. Now we are going to extend that topic. Now we are going to explore in the Flutter projects. We will discuss its anatomy and we will discuss the widgets in this session. So if you are new to our channel, then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel because we have been bringing a lot of recourses, material and content for you. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So now let's first discuss the project anatomy. We have created the Flutter project in our previous sessions. If you have not watched that video it is recommended to watch that video that tells how to create the flutter project in vs code so now we are going to discuss the anatomy of this project we are going to discuss about the files folders and directory and their purposes so for this we are in the explorer session you have to click on these two signs to see the explorer and from here broadly you can see here the android and the ios so Android contains all the files which will be required for your Android application and iOS will contains all the files necessary for the iOS development. Uh, generally we do not touch these two folders. We write our code in the main.dart. So this is the lib section. So this will contain all the codes of uh, your Flutter application in dart language and here you will develop your code and this code will be run simultaneously on ios and android giving the same ui so in the same way we have the linux and mac os and the web and the windows platform so we are writing the code in a single file and this code will run on android ios mac and linux and web platform at the same time so if we go down we can see here the git ignore so basically uh, if you are managing your code on source control and you are using github or any git source control system you will need this git ignore file and you can see here the readme.md this is also related to the github or git related files and the second last file is the pubspec.yaml this is the project setting file this file contains the essential settings for your project. You can see here our SDK and in the same way you will see our project name and description here. You can change your project name and description from here and you can introduce the fonts. If you are not satisfied with the system fonts, you can introduce your own fonts here. And in the same way we can also introduce our assets in the form of images so we have to include our image location here and our image will be displayed in our application so in the upcoming video we will see uh, how to include fonts and images for the moment it's okay to see the things in the same way we have analysis option dot yml file so if you want to statically analyze your application you will need this file so this will uh, give us essential exception and error description if we are going to run our application and we are seeing the exceptions or errors we can analyze those errors with the help of this file and we will see it in the future session so now let's come towards the second part of this video which is the widgets so widgets are the very important concept in the flutter so we will focus on this concept in the flutter terminology we see everything in flutter is a widget so widget is an immutable description of the part of user interface so anything you see on the user interface of flutter application is a widget for example in the last video we have created a none of application so you can see here we have this text this is widget this floating action bar button this is widget and this navigation bar title this is the widget so widget is anything which is composing the ui of flutter application so there is a more than 160 uh, widgets in uh, the flutter application 
to make the understanding easy i would like to give an example of the construction of an home and we can see here there are a lot of building blocks here for example we can take the example of bricks brick is simple a uh, building block and we put a lot of bricks to make our home in the same way we put the steels we put the cement we put concrete and we put a lot of different things like windows doors roofs to construct our home so all these building materials are the building blocks of house construction in the same way in flutter application widgets are simply the building blocks let's see the library of flutter widgets so we can see here there are a lot of widgets a lot of user interface elements in the flutter we can see here alert dialog this is a, a widget in the same way align this is used to align our uh, ui for example we can see here our floating button is aligned on the bottom right side so we have used the align widget here in the same way there are a lot of tons of um, different widgets app bar which is used to make our application center cards bottom sheets circular progress indicator in the same way there are tons of different widgets radio buttons and refresh indicators so these are all widgets and we will use all these widgets in our filter application so broadly there are two widgets types the stateless widget and the stateful widget so the rule of thumb is that if your widget is not handling any dynamic data which is changing on runtime so your widget is stateless because it is not maintaining the state of your data and if it's maintaining the state of your data it will be stateful widget for example in our recent application you have pushed the button this many times so this data is never going to be changed so this will be a stateless widget because it is not maintaining data but this text widget is going to handle the state of the data we are going to press increment this data and it is maintaining the state so this is the stateful widget as you can see here we have a lot of tons of widgets broadly we can categorize all these widgets into four different categories so first one is the value widgets so value widget is any widget which is used to show the value for example we are showing the value of salmon we are showing the value of our text so these are the value widgets layout widgets so layout widgets are basically used to lay out our application you can see here our floating button is being displayed in the bottom right side in the same way our navigation bar is being displayed on the top bar so this is the layout of our our application so all those widgets which are going to help us in maintaining the layout are fallen in this category of layout so this is the navigation widget so any widget which is used to navigate from one page to another page is called the navigation widget for example this is the material app bar where we are seeing the navigation bar and different text so this is the navigation widget so this complete screen is a navigation widget and then there are other widgets which do not fall in these categories are categorized in other widgets so now let's come towards our code which is main dot dot we have created in our previous session so you can see here this is the main function of our application so every time when our application will run we will receive this main function and in this main function we are returning a widget which is my app widget and my app widget is returning a stateless widget of my app and in this build context method we can see here we have a material app so this completely is a material app and we have the title theme and we have the home widget as well so in the home widget we have the sub widget which is scaffold app bar center column so all these are widgets and we are finally seeing the text which is maintaining the state of counter therefore it is the stateful widget and we have the tooltip as well and on press event 
and you can see here there are a lot of widgets which are going to make this application so this is also a widget so the complete application is also a, a widget and all those parts which are maintaining this application like title floating action bar these are all its sub widgets so guys hope you have enjoyed the video i have tried my best to elaborate the concept of widgets so if you have any question and queries you can ask me in comment section so please like share our video comment on our video and subscribe to our channel